Scotty here, Scotty's Animals. I want to talk about pests. I want to talk about bugs um, that may or may not get into your cages or into your homes. Specifically, I'm talking about cockroaches. I'm talking about German cockroaches. I'm talking about the little reddish brown uh, cockroaches that you see. Um, they're not the ones that fly that you see in the south or in warmer climates. They're not the large cockroaches. They're the little tiny ones that you see uh, in lots of groups. Um, for instance, I used to have an apartment and I was it was the back uh, house of an apartment building and all the trash cans lined up the back of it. Okay, and then on the other side was the alleyway where all the trash cans were moved to on garbage day. <clears throat> My apartment was right in the middle of that. And everything was fine for a few years and then just one day I started seeing bugs and I couldn't figure out what to do to get rid of them. I went to all the home stores and got all the uh, raid and, and bug spray and roach motels and all that stuff and nothing worked and I tried everything. I bought every single product there was at the store. Right Mike? Well Mike wasn't, I didn't have Mike yet, I hadn't adopted Mike yet. But it was bad. Um, the bugs would get into the little sections of the coroplast even and they would uh, just multiply and there was nothing that I could do about it and if you've ever had this experience uh, you feel helpless you feel disgusting and it's you feel shame you feel just all these emotions because of some kind of a stigma but they are just an incredibly successful invasive pest nothing more nothing less um, so I'm gonna show you how to get rid of them once and for all my friend Raphael at work he showed me and I'm going to tell you. So, you already know in the title, it's about Advion. Now I'm gonna put Mike back because these chemicals are serious business and you don't want them to be anywhere near your pets and that's part of what this video is to show you how to apply it safely and effectively without putting any of your pets at risk. This is the serious stuff. This is the stuff that you put on industrial uh, cooking kitchen equipment. Um, this is what you, this is the stuff. Wherever you put this, the cockroaches will disappear, they will die, they will go away. Um, and you don't even have to really keep up the maintenance. You could really do it once every three months um, or just one application and then if you ever see any bugs you would just do another application. But why do I have this now? So I mentioned that I used this to solve the problem at my old place. Well, um, here's what happened. In my apartment building uh, the city of Los Angeles gave us a different dumpster. They gave us a brand new dumpster, brand new, it was actually, um, well our old dumpster was very old and rusty and whatever, and this dumpster's not, but what it was is infested with cockroaches. I started seeing them in the hallway and outside in the courtyard. And then one one day I did see one in here. So I immediately got this stuff and um, I actually had one little tiny, these are, these are big like syringes filled with it and you just squirt out a little tiny bit. I'm gonna show you how to do that. But I had a little bit left over even from a few years ago and I just put a little bit around uh, even outside the apartment building in the courtyard just a tiny bit in some very safe areas And I'll show you like how to do that, but um, and I haven't seen them at all in here You want to keep this plastic thing safe because a little goes a very long way and so what that means is like really this would last five years so it comes like this in a tube with this little 
blue cap. This seals it in here, so when you're ready to use it, pull this cap out, and it also comes with a little dispenser here. It's a tube, a little nozzle, kind of like a mini caulking gun, okay? And you twist it, and it locks into place. When you're done, put this back on so the stuff doesn't dry out because you only need to use a tiny bit. This, you could treat like the entire city of New York with this whole thing. Um, only partially exaggerating. You could do blocks and blocks and city blocks <laughs> with this. Huge apartment buildings could be completely covered with just, I mean, a tiny micro dab is all you need. So then it comes with this and, and it doesn't stick in there. You just, I mean, it doesn't stay in there. You just push it in and use it to dispense however much you need. Then you take it out and you put all this stuff back in that plastic case. Keep that plastic case because it's going to help keep this stuff organized because it lasts so long. So let's, let's read the instructions here. Please read the directions yourself. Okay, don't rely on what I'm saying. Advion cockroach gel bait is designed to control pest species of cockroaches such as German, American, Australian, Smoky Brown, Brown Asian, Oriental, and Brown Banded. So, and I think that this will kill spiders and this will kill other animals, uh, certainly that you don't want to kill. So the application of this is absolutely crucial. So follow the directions. Do not treat areas that are easily accessible to children and pets. Gel bait can be used indoors or outdoors, applied as a crack and crevice treatment within residential homes, industrial facilities, offices, warehouses, commercial kitchens, hospitals, schools, nursing homes, blah, 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 blah. Buses, trains, aircraft, <laughs> any other infested areas infested with cockroaches. Now, a note about that. German cockroaches, the little ones, those are the ones that infest. The American cockroaches, if you see them in, chances are it's because there's a change in the weather, something. Um, just catch those little dudes and let them out. You know, why do you have to crush? They are part of our web. They're part of our ecosystem. They are um, native species and they deserve respect. The German cockroaches, all animals and all life deserve respect, but when your home becomes infested with these cockroaches, there's nothing that you can do and it destroys your peace of mind, it destroys um, your home, okay? You can't go on with this exponential uh, growing infestation. So that's what I'm here to clear up. So let's apply some of this in the room. So there's even holes in the paint here and there's a little crevice under the running board. Okay, so I just put this in. Um, just a teeny bit. See that? I can use the um, applicator itself to get under there. Here, let's take a, I'll do one little, one more, just a little bit right there. And, Let's do a close-up. I want to show you one other trick. Okay, I got my blob. I can use the applicator to sort of smush it under the running board. Those little cockroaches will still be able to get it. And then I want to take a Q-tip and I want to clean up this area. Okay? This stuff is super poisonous make sure I got all the spots okay and then I want to throw, throw this away make sure any of the tissue paper any of the q-tips that you use to clean up or wipe up this stuff um, if you throw it in the garbage make sure it's out of reach of other pets dogs sometimes like to go into the garbage and lick tissues if you had this on uh, a tissue and your dog ate it it would be over so be extremely careful with this stuff and dispose of it safely, consciously, and in a way that makes it safe for all your pets. Places like this are pretty good. You score it a little. Dab right there. See that? And then I'll come in here with my Q-tip. Okay. 
Okay, it looks like I got it all up, but it's still there. And a dog's not gonna be able to come in and lick that. I don't have any dogs anyway, so you do the best for your situation. You don't have to worry about it staying gooey for a long time because it will dry. But they did say that you don't wanna apply this stuff over top of an area that you have sprayed. Here's a great spot. This is the front door underneath that little thingy. And I can put a little bit more than normal there because it's completely covered. But I don't want to put too much because I don't want crickets or any of those guys. Spiders. And a little bit goes a long way. Make sure I wipe this up. And I'm going to throw this in the bag of dirty pine shavings. Make sure, make sure it gets out of here. I'm going to take this off. Okay, there is a little bit of goop in there. So if I wanted to be extra cautious, I could, uh, you know, I probably should rinse it. You can see, with a little bit of warm water, I was able to wash it clean. Got one, two, three, four, and uh, the little thingy. Let's make it pretty. Right direction. There we go. Pop it closed. I'll put the link to this on my Scotty's Animals page along with this video because I know how um, demoralizing this is to have this problem. There's so many other problems in the world, big problems, right? Um, there's animals. Uh, suffering and floundering in all sorts of horrible situations everywhere and we want to be our best we want to be on our game and to do that you have to have a good solid foundation you have to have a, a home that it, uh, is a place of peace and tranquility and when it is infested it can't be that trust me I know um, it was horrible it but ever since I and I'm telling you, I found I tried every single thing, and ever since I found this, the problem stopped. Okay, this is the only solution that I found that worked, and it's not that expensive. I can't remember fifteen, twenty dollars, um, you know. But after the hundred, hundreds of dollars that I paid trying all those cans of spray, all the traps, all that crap. Um, and I wish you could only get one tube if you can find the one tube, but I'm telling you, you get this and, and you will not have a problem ever. Because this will last for many years, especially if you keep that, keep that plastic uh, cap on there. All right, so that's it. Thank you guys. Um, it's not something that people want to talk about. It's not something that people are, uh, it's something that people are somewhat ashamed of, even though it's not their fault. You know, these little, what do you call them? Um, cockroach egg sack things. They can hook onto a brown paper bag. They can hook onto the back of a piece of uh, product uh, packaging. Um, you know, they can find their way in any number of places. And I'm telling you, it's the prolific, successful, you know, these creatures are highly successful at invading and um, procreating and you know I, I love all animals and I'm trying to exist in harmony with them but these ones you can't so this is the stuff all right guys thanks hit that bell notification hit the subscribe button when you hit that bell then you get an announcement right when I upload every um, video. So do it, do it, do it.